The NSW Department of Education is conducting a review of selective schools. The minister favours opening them up to local enrolments to make them more inclusive. The equity benefits of this have been highlighted but my experience suggests if it also reduces the pressure cooker effect of selective schools and promotes a more realistic view of it our results, it may be beneficial for the mental health of students. I went to Sydney Boys High School. Only the top performers of the selective high school placement test at the end of primary school have that opportunity. My memories of primary school involved a lot of private tutoring and extracurricular homework, after school and on Saturdays. It was the norm, at least among my peer group. However, I struggled with after school tutoring, which taught advanced subjects often one to two years ahead of my school grade. I was top of my class in school, almost effortlessly so. But the focus from my parents and my peer group was not on my achievements at school, but where I fell short during tutoring. I was not confident when I completed the selective school placement test. When I received my results, my raw scores weren't great. But my weighted school grades and my test scores provided me with the leverage I needed to gain entry into Sydney Boys High. It felt like a miracle. But once I began classes, I immediately felt I wasn't keeping up. I went from being top of my class without even trying to a place where everyone around me was operating at the top percentile of academic performance. Throughout high school, I struggled. My self esteem steadily declined. By year 10, I started to give up, and by year 12, I had completely checked out. I was depressed, although I didn't admit it at the time. The consensus among my classmates was that an ATAR below 90 was not acceptable. It horrified me to envisage a score of even 80. I looked back on this with incredulity. I made the decision to drop out and reattempt year 12. I dropped out again. Then, once more. The depression had taken over and exhausted any motivation I had left. I didn't finish high school. Fast forward three years. I gained entry into Macquarie University through its mature age pathway for those over 21 and was accepted into a Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. From there, I found out I could pretty much transfer to law, medicine, philosophy, politics, anything. I also discovered through this process that almost every institution offers some type of alternate entry pathway. I stuck with psychology and fell in love with the science of behavior. A few years ago I graduated from the University of Western Australia, a go at university, with a Master of Organizational Psychology. I registered as a psychologist the following year and worked in consulting in the corporate sector. Many who come from immigrant backgrounds are often put under military-style pressure to perform academically. But academic success doesn't matter if your well-being is at risk. By definition, most don't receive an ATAR of 90 plus. They receive a score closer to the median of 68. To all those who may not have achieved the score you were hoping for last year, or perhaps you didn't even get one, like me, celebrate your strengths and know that no doors have closed for you. Your ATAR is a speck of dust in a lifetime that won't be defined by this number. You are not a failure. That a single test can dictate your entire future is an overwhelming thought. Fortunately, it is not true. I've never been asked for my ATAR from an employer, nor from any of my peers. And to those of you who think that a selective school is the very best education you can get, research by the University of Melbourne suggests the strong performance seen by selective schools is simply because they select students who are already of high ability, and therefore may not actually reflect the quality of teaching. A more equitable system would see that selective schools are able to demonstrate growth in their students from year 7 all the way to year 12. I'll never know, but I suspect that if I didn't go to a selective school it would have turned out for the better. Gareth Lee is a psychologist and former Sydney Boys High School student.